my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to make a rotating planet using Adobe After Effects. Uh, this is great for space shots or something like that, or uh, what they call an establishing shot when you're going to move it into an environment. So here I've got my planet all created, and if I play this, you can see that it kind of slowly rotates in space, and you can com composite in some stars in the background or what have you. Uh, this is actually very easy to do. And you can change the color from like the, the base brown tan to a blue or a green, whatever you would like. To get this to, to show up that way, open up my base composition here. All I've got is a fractal noise layer with the, the coloring and then what's called a CC sphere. So if I turn it off, let me go ahead and I'll recreate this for you. I'm just going to create a black layer. And underneath effect, I'm going to go to noise and grain, fractal noise. Well, fractal noise is kind of like your backbone for creating any kind of an organic look to something. It's great for distortion effects or for smoke or what have you. So with this fractal noise, I'm not actually going to animate it. But what I am going to do is color it a little bit. I'm going to go to effect, color correction, tritone. And it's got that kind of brown look to it. You can change that by clicking the brown and going to like a, a teal or a blue kind of look, something like that. It has a nice gas giant feel. And we'll go to Effect, Perspective, CC Sphere. And it instantly turns your layer, your flat layer, into a sphere. Now, this is not a 3D object inside of After Effects, so you can't take the 3D Rotate tool and move it around. What you can do is open up the light, and you can move the light back and forth around on it. Uh, you can increase or decrease the height, kind of show how much of the planet is being revealed. You can also take this rotation function here, and this is what I've animated, and you can rotate it one way or the other, and After Effects will um, kind of fake rotating a 3D object in this 2D plane. Now, this is much, much quicker than working with a regular 3D object, so it's my preferred method when I'm trying to create planets or any kind of a space body. All right, so we've got our basic planet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come into the effect here under CC Sphere and underneath Rotation. It's the Y rotation we want to animate, but I don't want to have to set keyframes constantly to try to get it to rotate smoothly and then maybe run to the end of my keyframe, have to go back in and add in another one. What I'm going to do is hold down the Alt or the Option key, if you've got a Mac, and click on that stopwatch there. And this will open up what's called an Expression Editor. So this is where you can do a little bit of programming in After Effects. All I want to do is have the rotation equal the current time. So as the composition plays, it kind of just animates itself. So we'll put in time with the semicolon and enter. And you can see now it rotates, but it rotates very slowly. So I'm going to multiply the time by about 50. So a little asterisk there for multiplication. And put in 50. And now you'll see it rotates much quicker. And you can alter that number up and down depending on the speed that you'd like it to rotate at. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to create a rotating planet in Adobe After Effects. I'm Josiah Ray.